Um, the rock, rock is going to go as far as Rock wants. What do you think of the atmosphere out there today? Obviously, there would be a lot of anticipation you know, to what you thought it would be. Oh, yeah, it was electric. Uh, shout out to all the fans that came out today. Uh, it, felt, it felt like a regular home game, you know, so just having that atmosphere, having the fans behind us, that was great. That, that was definitely my best day so far. Has it been fun to kind of watch Coach experience all this? He talked earlier about how today was a big day for him in terms of realizing um, just how big this family kind of is. Definitely. I, I mean, me coming from the Northeast and not really growing up in the SEC, growing up in that area, I, I know what it was like my first time coming to a few Alabama games. So I can only imagine how excited Coach Bowler is. How did it feel to get the uh, top lineman in the game afterward? Um, it's an honor. I feel like I work for it. I feel like I definitely deserve it. I put myself in a position to receive that award just by the way that I, I come to work every day. Like, I, I refuse to be out of work, and I, I refuse to I, – like, I owe to myself to work this hard because I haven't come this far just to come this far. Uh, now, that's a great award, but I'm going to get many more team awards this year, individual awards. So it's great to be recognized by my coaches as a top offensive lineman, but I'm, gonna, I'm working to be recognized as the top offensive lineman in the entire country and then be recognized as the, entire, the best team in the entire country. So a lot more goals ahead. I know you guys had some guys that have been banged up this spring, but how do you think the offensive line as a whole played today? Uh, we played solid. I feel like we have to finish a lot better. Uh, we had a lot of drive kids. We had some false starts. We had some sacks. Me, I get a little bit TFL, but that just it just comes with the game. But we have to have the ability to snap out of it and get back on track and regain momentum. And that's something that we'll learn over film. We got a bunch of young guys, so the better they get, the more experience they get, the um the more consistent we could be as offensive line. But I feel like we, we had a solid day. How do you feel? I'm oh, sorry. How do you feel like the run game performed today too? Run game was great in the first half. We just have to keep it up. We have to be more consistent with it. Uh, our double, our double teams were clean, and like I said earlier, our running backs are so talented. All we have to do is give them a little bit of space, and it's, been, it's different for the defense because we go, we go tag or thud a lot of the time. We don't go live often, so them going live, uh, <laughs> they, they weren't ready to tackle our running backs today. Oh. But that's something that they'll get better at. Uh, How much juice does it give you when you to know that each of your running backs can hit those big games if you give them the holes? Just how much extra kind of like, I don't know, is it a little bit more exciting knowing that if you do make your block, they're going to take advantage of it? Oh, yeah, especially when a block is behind you. So I had a block where I, I just um, stretched, stretched the B gap and the running back cut right off of me. And that, that just is it's a big adrenaline rush to know that I had a, a big part of making that happen. What's it been like watching Jeremy Bernard play? Obviously, looks like him and Jalen have a good rapport. Of what's it been like having him in camp all spring, and then how dynamic do you think he can make this offense? Uh, Jeremy's a great guy. Just having him here since day one, he's been a big part of bridging that gap between us and Coach DeBoer. So, if there were some things that were that were going on, Jeremy would explain it to us. So some things um, schematically, Jeremy was able to break it down to us because he's been in that scheme, and he had a great day today. And that's that's no surprise to us because he's been making plays like that all spring. DeBoer seems like such a nice guy. Has he led into the practice at all, or is there any instances where he looks like, oh, that's like a reminder of Coach Saban? Because he just seems like a good guy. Uh, no, he, Coach Bo is a great guy, and, and uh, Coach Bo, he's, he's not like Coach Saban in that way, and that's good because it would be a disservice to everything that he's done to come in here and try to be Coach Saban. There's only going to be one Coach Saban, and there's also only going to be one Coach DeBoer. So Coach DeBoer is always walking around with a smile on his face, and he just loves the game of football. He's just so happy to be out there. So to um, have that kind of energy at practice is amazing. Thank you.